Hi, we're from the Greek Reporter and Balas is a Greek name. What is the full name? The full name is Baladenias. Do you speak any Greek? Don't speak any Greek. My dad never spoke it to me. Where are you from, Greece? Where's your father from? My dad, what part of Greece? He is from Mykonos. Me, the party island? The party island. <laughs> have you ever been to Mykonos? I have actually. I've been there in Athens and uh, Turkey. And uh, I know Turkey's not part of Greece, but it's beautiful over there. Do you visit often? I've only been once. Corfu was another beautiful, uh, beautiful. The water is just amazing. My dad was uh, the president of Fred Astaire Dance Studios. Uh, it's over 100 schools in the United States back in the 60s. And still to this day, his, his dance studio, my dad's name is George Charles Ballas, and his dance studio was 65,000 square feet under one roof, and there was 125 teachers on payroll. Today, the largest school has 25 teachers on payroll. This was in the 60s. Then he sold his dance studio, and then he then invented the weed eater. That's the machine that cuts grass with fishing line. So he changed the way that we cut grass on the whole planet Earth. And in 1972, he was voted Man of the Year, Inventor of the Year. He was on the cover of Time magazine. And uh, that's my dad, George Ballas. Tell me about Dancing with the Stars. Well, I've danced with Cloris Leachman, who was 83 at the time, and then this season I was with Florence Henderson. I have two sons on the show. Uh, Mark Ballas is my biological son, Derek Huff is my half-son, and Julianne Huff is my half-daughter. I, I raised them from the age of, you know, 7 and 10. And, uh, you know, doing the show has been pretty amazing. That My three kids, Mark, Derek, and Julianne, have won 7 out of 11 seasons. Uh, your son was dancing with um, Bristol. Uh, with Bristol, right? H how was that, and how, how did you? Oh, like it, it, I loved Bristol. You know, for someone who'd never danced in her life, she'd never heard Latin music before. She'd never had any acting, any athlete, anything athletic, any singing, absolutely zero. She did amazing. Uh, if Mark liked it. You like mean if Mark wanted to marry Bristol, I would be okay with that. She's a sweet, sweet girl. Lovely. How do you feel growing up in uh, America as a Greek American guy? You know, it was hard um, being from uh, another country, even if you were born here. Well, you know, being born here, I really didn't feel that difference. But my dad definitely, he definitely felt it when he first moved over. But you know, things have changed now, and so it's all good now. Of course, all Greeks can dance. Can you dance Greek dances? Of course. Just give me the little rag, and I'm off. I was a Bekiko. Can you just throw music for us at Bekiko? Uh, <laughs> see, I don't know the names, but, uh, you know, we used to do all those things at, you know, at dinner, and throw plates, break the plates, and... Well, if you throw the plates, then that's all you need to do, right? That's all we need to do, you know? Do you uh, often, like, like to cooking Greek food in your home? Uh, I do when I'm home, but very rarely am I home, but uh, I do like to cook. What kind of Greek traditions do you like teach your children? Well, I think basically the only Greek tradition that I can teach my son is that he puts olive and lemon on everything. <laughs>